How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's spend 30 minutes together and continue with the Rampart playthrough. And um, in the last episode I asked you guys if it would be okay for me to play with uh, Kyre as main hero. And um, two things. First, thanks a lot for the comments and one of you guys was kind enough for me to, for you to, uh, to tell me that Kyra is actually a, a female, and you can see here that that is actually true. I, I just looked at the, um, the icon and took the, the liberty of, uh, of, um, of calling her a, a man. So <laughs> that's wrong. I, I learned something new. And um, and that's really funny. But uh, then I feel like we have to to play with her, and you guys already uh, also um, approved it. Okay, so we are at the beginning of week two and um, the end of that round. But let me just quickly go through what happened last time. Well, basically we had to go and clear the starting zone and um, we see up here that um, after we got the vision that um, it's quite a rich area up here but it's protected by these two blocks and we can't get past even though we want to get to the crystals and why do we want to get to the crystals well the reason why is because we want to unlock the enchanted spring there's two reasons for that the main reason is because it's going to it's blocking our uh, unicorns and we and I want to get the unicorns within week two so we have some some days for that and um, as you can see right here we need the money we need to unlock the, the spring and um, we actually have the the gems available so um, so now we just need well two crystal and two thousand gold for the spring and four thousand then afterwards and we are getting a little over a thousand a turn so we have to think about how we get the how we get the accumulate the money let's see who's in here oh yeah that's LSR let's see here Okay, it's pretty early, so there's no way of knowing um, who is uh, who's first. Again, pretty rich map, but I don't think it's the time to really break into that zone as uh, as of right now. But we made the decision. You can see there is some some money up there, <clears throat> and we see the crystal here. I think if we are careful we can break through here already and um, that will allow uh, Mephala to to move freely up here and again we need vision you need vision at all times to 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 get a clear idea of where you you're supposed to go next I got this message yesterday and the message was what is the best tip for beginner players for Heroes Mathematic 3 and basically it's this get familiar with the fundamentals the fundamentals one of the most important fundamental is get vision know how the map is shaped know where you have to go and um, it's everything so that's the first thing that I want you to do if you start playing this game on 200% difficulty. It's more essential because you start with nothing in the beginning. But let's do next turn. I think I'm contemplating getting the the marketplace for just 500 more. That but we have to get 6,500 instead. Um, but then I think it's necessary. And it's a good investment because then we can trade and stuff if we we need it within this um, within this week too. Okay, 
So let's move here first the, the scout hero. And um, there's some ore right there, so let's pick it up. And um, there are these crypts, one, two, three, four of them, which also could could um, be a source of income. But um, <clears throat> but they can be too uh, too huge and. Um, be detrimental for um, yeah for the progress if I take a too big of a hit on um, on the army here so um, I don't want to go and, and do that for now unless I'm really desperate but um, okay let's uh, let's save here and um, Take the the battle against the mummies. Right, I can actually win without taking the battle and not lose any of the shooters. But um, I, um, I I want to <clears throat> take it myself. Okay, this is new actually. This is completely new. Okay, so you can see the which one goes next. And, um, and that's pretty cool. I also just got the update just before the just before I started this uh, this battle. So um, so this is totally new for me, and uh, I have to start um, you know adjusting to to this sort of format. And um, all these things here are um, something you get from the what is called the uh, HD mod and uh, I really encourage you guys to, to get it and uh, you can find it if you make a, a basic uh, Google search okay so we took down one of them and let's see how far he can go and also if you hold down the control button uh, and then you just you can just see how far they can go Okay, so there's one more with nine and some more with eight, and um, I think this blocks. So let's see. No, maybe it doesn't actually. But um, I'm contemplating losing these guys and and um, see if I can get this um, these guys out of the way. But um, yeah, let's see. Because then I have to shoot at this guy, but then this is open over here. That's maybe a bad idea. Yeah, I think that might be a bad idea. Let me defend, defend, and let me go up here so that the big stack is blocked. And let's defend there and wait. And let's see. Yeah, I will defend there. Okay. So, um... I lose a uh, <clears throat> air elemental, but uh, but that's okay. So um, let me shoot at the the big stack there. Let me move over here, go there and there, and defend. And let's see. Yeah, it keeps the big the big stack defended. And um, okay. So let me shoot there. How many is, let's see, probably can't deal with another hit there, but uh, I can draw the retaliation because I think this guy can, yes, he could. So let me do this, now no retaliation, and yes, okay, that was way better than what uh, the computer uh, would be able to do. And um, there's a block here with, with, um, with, um, Let me do something like that. There's a block here with the skeletons, and I obviously need to deal with those guys with Kyre. And uh, let's see here. Let me take down this block as well. So then Mephala can come here, and uh, and then she can claim it. 
Okay, so this is uh, lava terrain, so this is also going to affect the guys you see here. <clears throat> She's not moving very um, easily there because she gets penalized by the, the terrain here. But uh, I got hands on the crystal and we are making progress even though we we had to to buy the, the marketplace in the previous uh, turn. But there's some gold here. And um, I want the vision and want progress. And uh, this is what then we are going to do is take down the the horde of um, the horde of um, skeletons here. And uh, let's just make this arrangement and um, let's see if we can <clears throat> make him go downwards. So we split them up to two groups, or at least um, keep them away for longer. Let's defend, defend. Let's see if I can do it this way instead. Because this first thing didn't really work. Let's just get slightly out of the way. And I'm hoping that they will do it now. And they do. Okay. So is this close? They can reach. Uh, with the eight, okay. So um, then I do that, and I attack here as well. Okay, so this is good, right? Because then I can defend, defend, and be out of reach here, and move out of reach a little bit more, and then I see if he wants to go downwards. Yes, he does. And uh, let me wait, defend, defend. Go here, here, defend, and move backwards. And uh, he goes even further. <clears throat> and um, then I can um, can take him out without any losses. So let me get the, the um, attack skill here. And we see Sulfur. Okay. It's kind of a rich map, so I have to make a decision. I need 4,000. No, not quite 4,000. So I, I will have at the end of next, beginning of next turn, rather, 1,500. It's quite a rich area over here. Um, so let me on. Uh, let's see. Oh. <clears throat> so the the um, the question now is. Um, I can be greedy with the sulfur and try to get it this turn and then clear this. Um, and then this could this is going to passively work for me every single round. Or I can go for the gold. Uh, it's not necessary, really necessary for me to get the gold this time. I can get it, do it in the next turn. So um <clears throat> and um let's do a diff the similar arrangement and um, and this time they're a little bit faster have speed six because they're part of the terrain and um, let's see our reach so I can afford to wait around and keep it like there okay is it within reach yes it is but I start again, so I can. Um, oh, oh, oh! Do you want to have fun, guys, in this <laughs> this playthrough? Um. <clears throat> okay, let me let me um, let me argue here, okay? Because diplomacy is really great, and. It is great to the point where it's OP, overpowered. So I feel if you look at Kaya, right? You, I talked to you about the possibility with um, if you only have someone with uh, archery, and it was uh, that other guy, the um, gold specialist. That if you have the first level, so you go to level two, 
well, you have the ability to, you can be screwed in level 3 because then if, um, if in the f level 2 you get offered expert archery and a basic skill you don't want and then level 3 you have a totally open skill tree and um, you get offered two basic skills and you have to pick one or the other of course but uh, if that's that's just two awful options then you're just significantly uh, you know significant significantly damage that hero skill tree compared to what you could have had and um, this is almost the same case here right archery next level to level six so um, this is going to be two basic skills so I feel like I have to take 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 the, the diplomacy comment down below guys if you think this is um, this is bullshit uh, I will argue in the comments, but I'll take the diplomacy. And um, there is probably something to it. Let me just say that already. But uh, let's goof in the comment section. All right. All right. <clears throat> so, <laughs> um, yeah, that was that's kind of funny. That is that is truly funny. I'm not going to lie about about that. Okay, let's do next turn. Let's see if someone is up there. It doesn't seem like it, but uh, we are entering the, um, some lava here. We we know already, but um, so let's let's go back. Okay, so I'm very close to the four thousand here. So what I like to do is go in here and be ready to pick up. The unicorns so let's wait on those and I kind of feel like I have to I want to get the gold from here and I get some vision from doing so and um, I could chance it and go up there and um, see if there's more gold but um, no I have to make the I have to make the army work in my advantage, so or in my favor. So, <clears throat> so basically, I could take the the scout hero afterwards and go up there. The army is needed down here, and also down here. Okay, but then the objective of this week is done, and I can already pick it up. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, someone asked me, why do you keep talking about making the making the the different scout heroes faster? You had a, a centaur on uh, on the last episode, and then you were happy that you changed it with uh, the pixie, and I didn't really uh, catch that. And uh, basically, the hero of any kind is the the movement points. How much, how far you can move the hero during that same turn is determined on the end of last turn, right? So the way I think about it is the slower unit. It's, this is the the way it is. It's always the slowest unit determines how much movement is carried over next turn. Okay, this one is speed seven. Okay. This one is speed 6, so this will give me one worth plus speed difference. So this guy has more movement points next turn. So if you look at this guy, for example, this the slowest unit is, is the speed 6, right? So this, this, uh, this guy is going to be, you know, slower. <clears throat> Compared to it, had he only had the speed sevens. Now he's a logistics specialist. Her, she is a logistics specialist, so she gets a hell of a lot from that uh, in of it itself. But um, but that's the same idea. And the way I think about it is, if you, for example, are a huge party of an army, well, you can't be faster than the slowest one. It still needs to be in the army and and keep up. So that's how I think about it.
Okay, that's that's the reason. So I was thinking about this question because I wanted to see if this one was um, speed eight because then I could buy it this turn and um, carry it over to the next round. Let's see. That's actually eight. So I could actually benefit from doing this. You see, because um, then it will carry over, and I have to make a some sort of distance to to reach the the, the fala here. So let me do next turn. Okay. And uh, what is the next thing? Next thing would be to get the. Yeah, it's a hell of a lot of crystals, but um, then again, I mean, it is the next thing. I could maybe focus on getting getting hands on a little bit of, uh, of money, even though we see that it can be a little, little rich. Okay, so let's see. Seven is a really good scouting unit, but... Um, I bought another one to be uh, to get um, to place on the follow. Okay, so let's go back and pick up and remove the slower one, and then I can come down here and um, yeah. Let's see here. No, I don't want to. I want, I want to to buy the mage guild or the blacksmith in this in in this turn. So let me just do that, and um, okay. So this way I can go something like this. And um, put these together so there is room for only having the pick aside on um, on Kyre because we just went through that lesson. Now he's faster, and I would rather have I would rather have all the units over here making Mephala slightly slower with the six compared to the to Kyre, the main hero, because that's the, the priority. And I I know there's fog of war up here, so someone could potentially come down and take down Kyre right now, but I don't think that's that's going to happen. So now it's actually the first time we see movement as far as I remember. So I'm fine with uh, fine with that. Let's see even more scouting okay let's just pick that up and let's make the chain let's set up a chain so okay we can keep him right there and um, I wonder if we can go through here and then we also can go there because then we can utilize the uh, the army Otherwise, it's blocked. No. Wait. Um, put in there, maybe. Shoot, shoot. And he takes two turns and he attacks. And. Okay. And, uh,. That's okay. Then I can use the scout hero for something uh, useful instead of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth all the time. So um, I think that was uh, the bit of the utilization of uh, the scout hero. Okay, so let's get a thousand there. And we are close to the next level. Okay. Something like that, and we don't have a spell book on on her, so that's really the next thing. 
let's not take it because let's let's really try to aim for no losses. It's still f too far away, but let's shoot at them anyway, and let's wait until they are closer and out of the way. Let's see, maybe up here to split them up and see if that's going to happen. No, it doesn't, but um, they moved further away, which takes second priority price. Defend, defend, move up there to block, move down here and wait and yeah i am definitely able to to take a swing there without to without fear okay wisdom do i need wisdom right now i do not so let's go there okay there's block here double block but uh we passed the the 2000 so we can for, uh, afford the, the mage skill. So we need 5,000 gold and we also build towards unblocking the, the requirements for the dragons there. So uh, that's good. Okay, so we can open here. We open there so we can pick up the crystal. And um, how much was this? Let's see. It was it was 20. Oh yeah. Now we have, I think it's 13 speed. Phenomenal, phenomenal scout, scout units. I'm actually thinking about doing this this turn. How much is this? Is it 2000? Yeah, it's 2000. But it's going to make it our lives so much easier. So I'm really thinking about doing it honestly. Question is, they are really they usually have high morale, um, but there's only a pack. Okay, let me scout here and see what else is uh, up here. Why take the the right you least want to take? If um, if there's something more juicy up here, okay. But it seems like there's a fork in the road, and that's. I mean, I've just played so many games that uh, it's look. It could look like. Um, it could look like how, how. Um, let's see. They usually place, usually place a, a, a town somewhere right there, and it would make sense because then you have this zone, and then you have to break into to my zone too because this is lava and this doesn't seem this is under uh, subterranean so it's it's definitely another zone uh, let's see i do not want to lose any of those guys but i think yes they are not interested in in um in t taking the battle there okay so what I could do is get the 50 increase to base creature growth, but it will take away all my will take up all my um, my money there. So I placed him right there because I expected to buy another hero and have the money to. Um, to set up the chain, so I would be able to go from here to there and there to to Mephala and even moving further towards towards her. But um, I think that's a little bit too ambitious. But I had the plan, and that's that's okay. I wonder if I should bite the bullet and. Um, yeah, and uh, I get the silver Pegasi already. And um, you know what? I will do that because I think that's 
that makes a lot more sense. See, oh, 12. 12 is, is diff. Okay, so 8 was over here. So 12 must be somewhere like around the um, the the opening of um, of this subterranean gate. But um, this um, this completes episode two, and um, we cleared the the area and we got um, we got our objective. We talked about Kyre a little bit, and I'm still. Trying to adjust, I still called called her a, a him a couple of times, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to goof in the comment section about uh, of the diplomacy. I'm pretty sure some of you guys will have have a comment on that, but uh, I'm just looking forward to to be part of that. Next time we will um, make a decision with more unicorns coming on uh, on Kyrie. We could take up this plot because my my gut feeling says there will be a, a huge some some a town here even a new maybe a neutral maybe someone from one of the other teams but I haven't seen movement here so I'm expecting it to be a, a neutral town. There's obviously also movement uh, or we can go through there but uh, we'll take that in the next episode. So uh, thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you in the next episode. If you have not already give the subscribe to the channel and um, give uh, the video a like. I would really appreciate both. But um, see you in the next episode, guys. Take care.